every now and again I have to remind myself that the mad lads are a thing. I have to remind myself of that. Because the mad lads are different from like the Giga Chads or the Sigmas or stuff like that. The mad lads are the ones that just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> sometimes. Yes, sometimes. But also sometimes they don't only really just want to watch the world burn. They want to watch other people burn down the world because of just how how crazy they are. I just, I'm just baffled by the existence of Mad Lads. And you know who uh, also is baffled by the existence of Mad Lads? MK. Because <clears throat> here we are again with r slash Mad Lads. Five years in jail for this. Jesus. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who all is, uh, I don't know what's going to be included in this, but if there's an Andrew Tate clip in here, I wouldn't be surprised. And, if, and by Andrew Tate, I mean Andrew Tate getting thoroughly owned for his shitty takes on a lot of things. Anyway, we got this uh, We got this queued up here. Let's get it up on screen. Let's give it a watch. Here we go. I faked every orgasm. I saw every meme you sent at least a month before you showed it to me. Yeah, if we're trying to hurt each other. That's... One. We delivered about 852,000 pizzas since Chelsea last scored a goal. Alrighty then. I don't follow any of that. I left a Google that's, review of the that's store. That's cold, on the bro. That's cold. Chelsea's already down in the dumps, man. You ain't got to kick them while they're down. Canada ad saying, it's very clean. Well, if you're doing a good job, someone has to point it out. Mad Lad accidentally got hold of Facebook's official account. No idea why I suddenly have access to post stuff as Facebook, or have I got it completely wrong and I'm not posting as Facebook UK? <laughs> Seriously, I have nothing to do with Facebook. I don't work for them or anything, and I can post as them? Anyway, can you follow me on Twitter? Why not? Well, you know what? Might as well. There you, go. And you took it. He didn't. It's Lee, not really mad. That's saw... pretty sane. <laughs> Yeah. That's, uh, I think I'd do the exact same thing. Same. I mean, with that right. kind of okay. power, you could have pulled something way more mad than that. Oh, yes. By the way, it, yeah, Posting I would... Posting, like, a fake, like, Mark Zuckerberg death article or something as <laughs> Facebook. You know, what the, you know what the killer one would be? That would, like, get the, like, get, like, the tinfoil hat wearing by gods flared up? Be like, be like, be like, I'm typing this on here because I don't have much time. Mark Zuckerberg is actually a lizard man. You aren't gonna believe that. Like the proof is here at this link. All you have to do is just follow the like follow the breadcrumbs. Trust me, I don't have that much time. And then act like you got like knocked out the keyboard as you hit enter. And the link you posted is just one of those short links, so you can't tell what it goes to, and it Eight. just goes to freaking like meat stand or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you just meet, spend like all of Facebook's like, yes! <laughs> like conspiracy dudes. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that'd be the best shit ever. Also, not only that, but uh, it would be the, uh, what was it? I just thought of it. Uh, but yeah, that, but just doing shit like that, that, that's true mad lad shit. Anyway. Okay, wrong sub. Oh, the letter E. Interesting. I photoshopped my bank statements and pay stubs to get my one-bedroom apartment in New York City. You want to live alone? Get Adobe. Yeah, how do they expect people to make three times more rent when rent is like $10,000 a month? What the hell do they expect people to be doing? <laughs> I don't get it. A guy wheeled around 99 I've used Photoshop for, uh... Something that would be considered suspect before. Oh, yeah? It wasn't technically used for any kind of nefarious purposes. But... Uh, what's the best way to say this without getting arrested? <laughs> I don't know. What is the best way to say this without getting arrested? Okay, so hypothetically, if you had a <laughs> friend whose parents <clears throat> were basically going to kick him out of his house if he didn't maintain a job. But he had another form of income he wasn't willing to tell his parents about. And all he needed to do was prove to his parents that he's holding a job down. And he previously had a job at a place, and he had access to his previous pay stubs. And oh. hypothetically, you were good enough with Photoshop to both change 
the dates on the pay stubs and print them back out so that they still look like they even have the watermarks on them. Oh, wow. Then hypothetically, would you help your friend out? Especially if your friend was like, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks. Just hypothetically, would you? Like, that's, that's a good hypothetical. That's all I'll say. You're not, that's not really anything truly illegal. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, it wasn't like anybody was fucking anybody over. It was no, literally just no, no. Somebody who wanted to fool their parents and I helped them fool their parents. I, 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 hypothetically. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, the best part about it was uh, apparently his mom with this hypothetical pay stub was like, I'm not sure if it's real. And his dad looked at it and was like, well, it's real as hell. There you go. I was just like, yeah. hypothetically, somebody's really good with Photoshop. Apparently. Yeah. Good shit, dude. Kept your friend in the, kept your friend in the house with a roof over his head. Mm-hmm. Art to create traffic, traffic jams? <coughs> what is wrong with my brain today? I've been up for too long. Traffic jams on Google Maps. Well, everybody's gotta have a hobby. Mods, make new no image rule as a joke. User base, hold my beer. Can still post pictures. Screw the mods, man. Oh. I'm gonna become a multi-millionaire in five months with three to nine months of preparation. Step one, you first become pregnant or get your wife pregnant. Step two, at five months, you study your ass off for interviews. Step three, at seven months, apply to hundreds of companies. Step four, once you're at the eight month period, interview with 100 different companies, accept every single offer, well, any ever offer you get, and have them all start the same week. Step five, your kid is born and you go on parental leave for let's say 40 jobs for five months, each paying you 120, <laughs> yeah, this is great math. Quit and live off your investments with your family for the rest of your life. Yeah, okay, sure. That's Accountant, not how that 38, works. That, no, that's not how that works. Yeah, I don't think there's that many jobs that are actually going to give you that kind of parental leave. I don't think there's any jobs that are going to give you parental leave one, like, week into being there, basically, or one month into being there. Yeah. So you have to work, like, a period of time. Before you can get leave like that. Yeah, and you, they would not give you the leave if you hadn't told them that there was a pregnancy, like, already happening, but... Interesting theory, like, if, if the system worked like that, but yeah, yeah. unfortunately it doesn't quite work like that. The lead at work wanted to go out with a bang, so he stole 170,000 pounds from his bosses and spent it all in one weekend on cocaine and prostitutes. Go nuts, dude. I mean... Well, I was gonna say, man, it's like that dude said when he went... It's like, what are you gonna buy if you win the lottery? A bunch of hookers and cocaine. If he wanted to go out with a bang, Make that's the own. way to do it. I knew my girlfriend was going to dump me, so I set up a profile called Ad Profile on her Netflix account, and three years later, I'm still watching. <laughs> a woman on the train kept staring at me, and after about 25 minutes, <coughs> I was like, I'm sorry, but you look like my high school boyfriend who passed away. And without missing a beat, I was like, Amanda? And she was like, my name's Rachel. But imagine if I guessed her name right. Yeah, she would have died. <laughs> Oh, that'd have been horrible. You oh, she'd have died of a heart attack on the spot. Imagine you just gone, Rachel. <laughs> it's dead. This person edited their comment after getting thousands of likes. I've seen this. To this, people who love femboys. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sh my town had a really bad storm two days ago and my neighbor lost the roof of his house and the poor guy doesn't have insurance. I've decided to start a GoFundMe to raise money so I can go to Hawaii for a few weeks because he's about to start doing construction and I hate being around all that noise. I mean, fair, I guess. Mm -hmm. Once went to the dentist with my mom and it was just us and one other guy in the waiting room. Jurassic Park was starting on the TV, so we sat and watched through the entire movie. No names called. As the credits rolled, the other man got up and called my mom's name. He was the dentist. Yeah, well, he gets wow. to watch Jurassic Park in the lobby if he so chooses. Damn! Is this image even real? Why does it keep... I, we have seen... No, it's, it's not. not real. It's AI. But uh, it's awesome. But Oh, it is awesome. That is hands down one of the greatest, like, AI images ever. <laughs> I mean, dude. Like, like... <laughs> what was it? It was a... Uh, snap... Uh, it was like Kimbo... Gumbo slice. Gumbo slice. Yeah. Yes. This is like this is this is prime Florida man content right here. 
seen it quite a few times already. Things my dentist has actually said to me. Well, either the x-rays are <coughs> to me or you are spontaneously creating teeth. I'm going with the second one because it's way cooler. When was the last time you flossed? Your gums aren't bleeding, which means I'm either not doing this hard enough or you actually floss your teeth regularly. You don't need to do a fluoride treatment. I just want to go check my Facebook for a second, and this is the best excuse I can come up with. Don't worry, your insurance will cover it. Take a whole handful of toothbrushes. I can't order new ones in less ugly colors until these ones are gone. Remember not to eat or drink anything for half an hour. Or actually, you know what? Forget that. Go eat lemons and drink coffee right now. I make money based on people's bad decisions. You should probably stop brushing your teeth, too. I became a dentist because I like making children cry, and they don't let you do this as a regular doctor. Chaotic Damn. neutral dentist? I love it. Can I see your dentist? That sounds amazing. Saw that what do you mean you're not recently? allowed to make children yeah, cry as a regular doctor? They do it all the time. Hey yeah. Guys, just yeah. To pop what do you think happens whenever you're given injections to kids? Yeah, true. After a slippery rock. Oh. All right, back to the content. We named our entire university after a slippery rock. Tell me a story about yourself that sounds like a lie, but it's absolutely true. Well, Slippery Rock University. That sounds pretty good. I took a photo. No photography allowed. Oh, <gasps> you son of a bitch. I swear to God, my brain short-circuited, and I couldn't remember what subreddit I was doing at all. Guys, I have Reddit dementia. Just got accepted into Oxford University. Yes, see you in October. Who said I was going to accept? <laughs> Who said I was going to accept damn. their acceptance? Well, I'm older and my kid needs me to sign something for school, I'm just going to write dad in really crappy handwriting. So it seems like my kid forged my signature and the teacher calls to tell me and I'm just, yeah, no, it is I, dad. I posted this when I accidentally took too much medication. <coughs> Screw you guys. A single man once booked every other seat in the cinema to split up couples on Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, how stringent, is that the right word? How strict do you think those rules really are? If the theater Oh, no, if no one should shows up, no one's gonna give a shit. Yeah. There's half empty. How many people do you think are actually not going to sit next to each other, man? Okay. Uh, no one's gonna give a crap. Travis came out a bit late and random guy DMs him right before he comes out. Bro, where the hell are you? One sec, dude. <laughs> oh, One that's sec, great. Bro. Dad loses 92 pounds after he couldn't keep up with his kids on a hike. I mean, that's a pretty darn noble reason Damn. to lose that weight. I mean, look, look at, dude, look at that. Why'd they censor his pics? Because YouTube doesn't like nipples. Mm. That's the thing. Anytime you, like there's nipples on YouTube, they're just like, no, no. Even if they're man nipples? Oh, it doesn't matter. Weird. Look at the guy, he was a beast before. But holy hell, my man, look at you go. Before being burned alive by the Spaniards, Chief Hatui of the island of Hispaniola was asked if he wanted to accept Christianity and go to heaven. Hatui asked if, I hope I'm saying his name right, asked if Spaniards go to heaven, to which the priest replayed that they do. Hatui then stated that he'd rather go to hell where he wouldn't see such cruel people. Well, there you go. Ouch. Tonight at work, a cut. Damn. Good on you, bud. Customer ordered three meatballs, ate them all, ordered three more meatballs, ate those two, told his server to take empty plates before his wife got there. Wife gets there, server takes both of their orders. He goes, I think I'll try the meatballs. What was he hiding? How many meatballs he wanted to eat? In I guess. Guarantee you, if he would have eaten that many meatballs in front of her, she'd have been, she would have had that resting bitch face silently judging him. You know? Because that... I hate people that do that. Look, if you enjoy what you enjoy and you're not hurting anybody, enjoy it. Like, who gives a shit? Like, and if you have a partner in your life that is constantly giving you hell for that, dude, your partner needs to respect your boundaries. One famous experiment, people were asked to sit quietly for 15 minutes in a room with nothing but their own thoughts. They also had the option to hit a button and give themselves an electric shock. Getting physically shocked is unpleasant, but many people preferred it to the emotional discomfort of boredom. Out of 42 participants, nearly half opted to press the button at least once, even though they had experienced the shock earlier in the study and reported they would pay money to avoid experiencing it again. One male outlier opted to shock himself 190 <laughs> times. There's always the yeah, one. There's, a... there's always the one. Just like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I think I think he was trying to off himself. If I'm I feel being like honest. that's me though. I would just be that bored. <laughs> <clears throat> now I can just see you. So how many times can I press it? One go. Oh, oh, oh. Be like, be like, psst, ow, psst, ow, psst, ow, psst, ow. I guarantee you, he was just doing that, and everyone else was just looking at him, just like, dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Yo, he thought it was hot. Police are launching an appeal to find a man who stole blue siren lights from a police car. He was last seen running down the street shouting, Nina, Oh, Nina. I see. Anyone who recognizes the person in the photo or has more information on the incident is asked to call this number. Quoting reference number. The first task our new hire did was fix the bug that's been bugging him forever as a user prior to joining. He then breathed a sigh of relief and submitted his two weeks' notice. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Bug that was that easy to fix, and y'all motherfuckers just absolutely refused to do it. Sure, you might not have noticed, but come on, man. The dude waltzed in there after all that effort, showed your asses up, and then quit. What the hell was the problem, and why didn't you guys do that? If anyone ever texts you by mistake, make sure you steer the convo in an awful direction. Hey, <laughs> I'm running late. Can we meet at 7 instead? Don't bother. Are you serious? Quit playing. Yeah, sick of the BS. I'll let your son know how you feel when I explain why he won't be going on that trip with you then. Don't expect me to reimburse the airfare. I would never expect you to act like a decent person. <laughs> that must make signing those monthly checks burn pretty bad. Oh well, Ooh. see you at seven. I won't be there. Look in the mirror instead, although it would probably make you turn to stone. You'll be there if you want me to sign those papers. Is there anything about you that isn't disgusting? Name just one thing. Serious question. Yes. Ask your best friend. Make sure the check is on time. <laughs> Ouch. Good lord. You probably just destroyed someone's f***ing life. I mean, these texts aren't real, so Oh, there's that. But if they were, uh, you're a psycho, and I do not find you funny. A few of you have talked to me about having trouble getting some of the books for this course. The university is adamant that you purchase textbooks through the official university bookstore. Beware of sites that promise and deliver free PDFs of all kinds of books, such as uh, these websites. They might seem perfectly helpful in that they deliver exactly what they promise, but they are also free. I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, my professor. Mm-hmm. Good on your professor for helping you save money. Because you can just open those up and save those fi PDF files on your iPad and then open it up. Hey, looky there. I got the book. Sir, that's a good professor. That is a very, very, very good professor. My mm -hmm. son, Seven, has discovered D's nuts jokes, and it's all he says now. Everything is D's nuts. He simply can't stop. I asked him where he heard that joke. He made me promise that if he told me, he wouldn't get in trouble. I agreed. So he leans in and whispers, D's nuts. Dude, you fell for it, <laughs> You got hit that so hard. You got, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. I can't be mad at the little guy. Right. I can't be mad at him. Me either. He, he absolutely just owned that moment. Yep. There's moments like that where the universe just gives you a layup. Literally tosses the ball up and puts it in slow motion for you to literally look at it, get it perfectly lined up, and just... <laughs> Gone. Home run. That is a home run. Well done, little man. Well done. Someone put dish soap into the fountain at my college. That's old. Uh, Dude. Uh, what is this? Can we, uh, can we ID the college here? No. Dude, that's such an old prank. Jesus. I've never thought about that, nor seen it done in person. You haven't? No, I, no, I kind of want to. Dude, they did that at Dollywood <laughs> one year. Really? Yeah. They did that at Dollywood. I'm not sure if it was an official thing or what, but the fountain basically overflowed with bubbles and people were just like getting the bubbles and like throwing them up in the air. And so, like, dude, it was awesome. In my opinion, it's a slightly harmless prank. It is. If anything, it's cleaning the fountain, you know? <laughs> yes, it is. But at the same time, it's just like there, there's certain things and certain, you know, uh, there's certain like things about the like system that if gummed up with, the, the bubble residue, the residue from the dishwasher liquid, mm. it could potentially have long-term issues. But for the most part, yeah, it is harmless.
Uh, but that's been an old prank that people used to do a lot back in like the 80s and 90s. You know what? I can barely read what's on the ground. I, it doesn't really matter, but UNT. that is funny. See, there's a good prank. My boyfriend says he wants to have sex with me while playing guitar. He says he wants to screw me while playing his guitar. First of all, what? Secondly, why? What's this man into? I mean, it's not pee or poop or whatever, but what? Should I let him? What if while we're screwing, he just rips a Guns N' Roses guitar solo? <laughs> then let the man rip his guitar solo! I mean, honestly, imagine that. It, like, I just imagine, like, hitting, like, the guitar solo to Sweet Child of Mine. Just, like, all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, just, like... And while you're making your own metronome. It's like, oh, oh, where do we go now? <laughs> yeah, over that at me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sick of Sweet Child of Mine. I, I, I am too. I don't like that song anymore. I, I much prefer, I, Welcome to the Jungle or, uh. I'm sick of most of their mainstream songs. Like, I've heard them all enough. too many times. Welcome uh, to the Jungle is putting way too many movie trailers for me to ever want to hear that's, again. That's, that's fair. It has been ruined here over, like, the last ten years. Mm -hmm. uh, Every time a trailer for something has Welcome to the Jungle in it now, I'm just like, I don't want to see this as bad anymore. I'll say this. Paradise City is still a banger, though. Yeah, it's all right. I'm still getting kind of tired of it, too, though. Well, I'll never forget when I, when I started up uh, Burnout Paradise City, and, you know, the start menu pops up, and then you just hear that opening guitar riff. I was just like... Hell yes. Take Let's go. Take to the paradise city where the drugs are good and the girls got titties or whatever Guns and Roses fled. <laughs> Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. The grass is green basically is like a, you know, a weed reference. Mm. Yeah. Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is odd but i mean relatively harmless i suppose it is. in 2015 a man from new zealand named nigel richard spent nine weeks memorizing words from a french dictionary before entering the french I heard about championship this. he won and became national champion despite not speaking any french <laughs> that is awesome that is he is the man <laughs> A village in France goes nuts with lines to dis disorient drivers and prevent speeding. W how is that safe? What it's not. That's so stupid. That's such an that's such an abstract thing to put on the roads. Like I can understand speed bumps to like stave off certain speeders, but that, bro. If anything, I feel like you're distracting people from the one line that actually has a purpose. Yeah. That's to stop at that intersection there, and people are going to end up running out in front of somebody and get T-boned. Oh my god, you're right. They're speed bumps, man. This seems dangerous. Yes. 83 hours of spliced content. Morshu reads the entire Bible. No AI. What? No Excuse AI? Me. What? That is... Oh my god. Seventh grade, a boy asked me to be his girlfriend, and I wasn't sure I heard him correctly, so I panicked and said yes. And then he high fived me, and we never spoke again. Jamal, if you're out there, happy 11th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> a $137 traffic ticket with 137 origami pigs delivered in donut boxes. The most Ouch. tasteful screw you I've ever seen. And a lot less of a move than the penny thing that one guy did. If you're cold. Yeah. Although the penny one, like, I think. If you are presenting it to the federal government, I think that'd be actually kind of hilarious because the federal government literally wastes over forty million dollars a year printing pennies. That's I, I'm not I'm not joking about this either. It costs eighty million to put forty million dollars of raw currency into the United States economy. The U.S. government spends over eighty million dollars. That's not including the actual like labor costs so it's more like hundred a hundred million dollars this is why pennies are going out and i'm glad thank goodness
They're cold. Bring them inside. All right. What's no. step two? Domestication. I stole Mr. Beast's DNA to make cheese. Uh, don't use Mr. Beast's name to try and get views. Come on. Guinean cycles across six countries for spot at Egypt's Al Azhar University. The student has cycled 2,500 miles across West Africa, enduring threats and blazing heat for a spot at his dream university. Yo, damn. damn that Jesus, what, dude? What the hell were they arresting him? Dude. What the fuck, man? That is a man that is dead. Look, here's the thing. I know there's people out there who complain. It's just like, oh, I, I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go to school. This man is literally trying to change his life. This man has so much like desire to make himself and everyone that he knows better by bettering himself. And he is willing to go across on a bike six countries. Countries! I really could have used this inspiration whenever I was in college. Exactly! Same thing, dude! I would have been like, he can bike across six countries. I can oh. walk over to the fucking digital media building this morning. <laughs> like, exactly! And this is my thing. You don't read about stories that like this that often. And these stories happen all the time. But, because of our news media cycle, you have to constantly be drugged down into the depths of depression by the friggin' news media because they don't want you to be inspired. They don't want you to actually make a difference. They want you to be just, they want you to be like ill-advised, uninformed, and stupid. And they want you to be depressed so that you'll just sit there and keep watching. That's mm -hmm. it. And I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. This is why I don't watch the news anymore is because you can't get shit like this on the news. You don't hear about... Okay, I want you to give me the last inspirational thing, truly inspirational thing, you saw on news me a major news media outlet. I'm talking like CNN, MSNBC, like any of those. Any news watchers still out there, give me one positive thing, truly positive thing, truly inspirational thing that you saw on there that wasn't politically driven or was a complete and total just just sham put on there by a big by a, the big media outlets i dare you this I, I it's literally one of the biggest cons happening it's like the, they're robbing everyone of the inspiration of shit like this in the world i hate that that is commitment, dude. Mario Puzo, the author of the Godfather books, who'd also adapt them to film, had no idea what he was doing, as he'd never written a screenplay before. After winning two Oscars, he decided to buy a book on screenwriting to learn how. In the first chapter, it said, study the Godfather, or Godfather <laughs> 1, rather. Yeah, that, that is awesome. He's like, huh. Mario Puzo, like, the dude was such a talented writer, like, his way of doing it basically was just like, yeah, this is... How a lot of screenwriters should do it. I mean, how people like whenever I write screenplays, I write them more like like plays or teleplays. I include a lot of action, and whenever it comes to like scene changes, I don't really, I don't really have them like in the top corner. Instead, they're in the descriptors that I leave like in between the dialogue. And whenever someone stands up or whenever, I try to be as descriptive as possible to try and give the people who are performing enough to go off of to where they can really sink their teeth into the performance without trying to be like too much of like trying to force like force them into like what I want. I want them to have freedom with their performances. Anyway. That's pretty baller. Can you imagine being that good at anything? I have no idea what the hell I'm doing wins five billion Oscars. Maybe I should learn a little bit more about what I'm doing. I clearly have a knack for it. It's just a mirror. You're flawless. That's it. That's literally what <laughs> yeah, he turns the book open to. Fantastic. Still haven't seen those movies. They're just, they don't feel like they're up my alley. Oh, it feels simultaneously flattered, but also like, fuck. Like, I was wanting to improve myself, but apparently people already think that I'm the go-to authority on this topic, so there's no room for improvement. Yeah, I would say, <laughs> I would say for modern screenwriters out there, study, study David Mamet. David Mamet does a really good job with his screenplays. And also, study uh, people, uh, study ones like Akira Kurosawa. Because Kurosawa was so descriptive with his screenplays. So descriptive that it was like to the finite details on things to where it was almost obsessive how detailed it was i'm always looking up stuff for like how to play certain games better and stuff like that and get yeah. tips on things and like i can't wait until the day where i 
go to a YouTube video for tips on the game and they're like, no, I've seen this guy play this game on stream and this guy got everything correct. This is exactly how you should be playing the game and it switches over to a clip of me streaming the game. Like, the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be that good, but that would be that would be funny. That'd be, you like that would be like a sense of self validation right there. You'd just be like, I'd just be like, I'll be damned. Guess I'm gonna go play some more. There you go. <laughs> Man, flamingo facts. Want to learn about flamingos? You've come to the right place. Fact one: flamingos are freaking stupid. What yes. show slash movie? I know what it is, but I'm going to gatekeep it from you. Come and see, 1985. I wasn't originally going to say anything until this dude thought he could gatekeep successfully. Oh yeah! <laughs> Once in kindergarten, a girl asked me to write Supergirl on her arms. Did I say harm? Doesn't matter. On her arm, since I was the only kid who could write, so I wrote crap, because I can't say that naughty word, on her arm, and I hid under the table for 30 minutes. Then the teacher found me and yelled at me and called my parents, and my dad laughed so hard he cried. I would have laughed too, man. To the owner of the black <laughs> Tesla who parked behind the Orpheum on Seymour Street tonight, who told me to go screw myself after I told them they'd likely get a parking ticket because of tour vehicles that were going to park there, who seemed to presume that I was some nosy civilian rather than the guy running the concert tonight. Here's a photo of the tow truck I called for your car, and a photo of me eating an ice cream cone while I watched it being towed. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, and any dickhead that parks like that, I'm sorry, but you deserve to get your car towed. It's just, hey, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's all it comes down to. And this person posting this, I salute you. I don't think I've ever had an ice cream cone that tasted so sweet and refreshing. Imagine being a bitch to someone that was like, Hey dude, by the way, if you park there, you're gonna get towed. Screw you, asshole. Okay, get towed then. Sorry, I ate it now. Wait, what? You ate it now? Hello, folks. Has anyone taken my subway order from the counter mistakenly? This is the third time this happened this week. Hi, I'm from accounts department. Sorry, I thought someone's been sending it on my name. I ate it now. What? I'm a little confused here. What are the chances? Oh, no way. 26 letters in the English alphabet. 25 characters used in the file name. All right. The chance is one in over 236 decillion. So you're saying there's a chance. Wow. That is... <laughs> wow. Hiker lost for 24 hours, ignored calls from rescuers because of unknown number. Please Bro! Please just text me. No, dude. We'll no. There. I've just taken my son's phone. How do I access? Dude, I wouldn't history? even be talking to a freaking scam artist from India or wherever, being like, dude. I I realize that it's usually your job to like get me to buy <coughs> something. Like, dude, I will send you my fucking social security number if you can just send authorities to like the forest in eastern tennessee please god like i'm lost as fuck i, I have been out here for <laughs> i have been out here for a it's day like, no one is answering their phone i somehow got you somehow got through to me please just help me i'll give you my identity <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden all of a sudden the, the guy on the other end of the line is just like i'm sorry sir but i'm not interested in your social security number instead i would like to uh, ask you if you'd be interested in uh in uh, in uh, extending your car's uh, your car's warranty, dude, I'll extend it longer than my dick. Just fucking get somebody out. <laughs> yes, and he's like, "Oh, very good, sir. Okay, so I know. Oh wait, you said that you are lost." He's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm lost." Uh, he's like, "Okay, sir. First, I need you to go over to your computer, and I need you to enter your <laughs> like I." I don't have a computer. I would be like, never mind. I'm just going to let the elements kill me. Have a good day. Yeah, he's like, okay, sir. Have a good day. It's like, God damn it. It's impossible. All right. Thank you anyway. Can you make the Fortnite full screen? I'm trying to see the new update. Not those honkers. Thank you. A goat called... Mm -hmm. Accurate. Sergeant Bill became a Canadian war hero during World War One when he butted three soldiers into a trench to avoid an exploding shell. Well, that's pretty awesome, though. Salute! Salute!
damn biopic about him. Canceled my TV license and Netflix more money for me. What are you going to watch then, Dave? You through your bedroom window. Oh, <laughs> oh God. People who creepy. have had breast milk as an adult, what does it taste like? Ah, one I can answer. It's sweet and warm and drinking a lot of it will leave a sticky coating in the back of your throat. Ugh. It's almost hard to drink too much of it. I drink straight from the source. Almost five-year-old account with one comment and this is it? I created a sponsored post on Facebook that was directed towards boomers. They thought they were texting an AI service, but it was just my number. Okay, wait. So, is your name Danny Gonzalez? You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, you are. That's your name. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Lower right. This is a scam. Send me money. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty, but no. Ugh. God. Anyway, holy shit. Oh, r slash mad lads, everybody. Five years in jail for this. I am, I don't know what to say anymore about r slash mad lads except for y'all need Jesus. Y'all need, y'all need something. Y'all need, y'all need, oh, my brain, my brain hurts just from watching all that. Oh. Anywho. I don't really know what else to say right now, except for uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. And I guess until next time, everyone, signing off, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Goodbye.